on crew you really have to learn how to move together as a boat and how to you're pretty much trying to be the same person um, over and over so uh, moving together and functioning as a team rather than as individuals as a part of a whole is, is it's a lot different on crew than it is for other sports. I really like the uh, the idea of like a repetitive sort of sport you know you take so is this typical regatta gear? Uh, it's typical regatta gear for somebody who's been doing it for six years. <laughs> okay. Uh, you get a, you know, your first uh, 35 degree, 50 mile an hour, hard rain regatta all day. You decide, well, I think I better get some, uh, uh, I better upgrade my fall weather gear. Uh, and so you end up with something like this that, uh, that uh, keeps you outside for eight or ten hours without starting to shiver. Even though the coaches are all bundled up, we're, we're probably freezing more than they have to because they've been yeah. <laughs> It's a little bit, I compare it to cross-country running, so you can kind of find some spots where you can see people going by, and you can see how that they're, that they're running or uh, that they're rowing, um, but you can't really necessarily tell how well they're doing um, in that regatta. It's something that the parents kind of get used to. Um, I also will tell you that, 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 as a general rule, the rowers can't hear you yelling and screaming for them, so you can yell and scream, and it helps you, but it doesn't re the rowers tend not to be able to hear it because they're focused on, uh, they're inside their own boat, and... Typically at a, at a full day regatta we'll serve three meals to 70 kids and also um, the kids' parents as well. So About 125 people. About 100, yeah, about 125 people. So um, there's food coordinators that handle each meal, um, food co coordinators for breakfast, um, lunch, and, and then a, a, a snack if it's a long day regatta. And then I forget that it's so nice because it's usually it's my office, but it's really it's usually about uh, late October when the leaves all turn. I'll finally look up one day and go, "Oh my God, this is beautiful."